Hello and welcome to this demonstration on detecting corrosion using machine learning. My name is Arvind Kodandaramaya and I am a solution builder in the AWS prototyping team. With me is Mary Farr, who is an AWS solution architect focused on AI ML. We'll start with an introduction to the corrosion problem faced in heavy industries understand the solution architecture, and finally follow it up with a demo. In heavy industries, such as transportation, mining, construction, shipbuilding, and so on, the uh, corrosion remains a serious risk of operational safety. The costs associated with inadequate protection against corrosion can be huge. A lot of these industries rely on visual inspection of industrial environments by humans. In most cases, these industrial environments can be in remote and in many cases in adverse conditions, thereby putting humans at risk. Additionally, the process of detecting and analyzing different types of corrosion is also subjected to interpretation by humans. Using machine learning, it is possible to reduce and in many cases even remove the subjectivity by using unmanned vehicles such as robots or drones, it is possible to automate the process of inspection of such industrial environments, thereby reducing risk to humans as well as controlling cost for such operations. In this demonstration, we'll look at how you can build a machine learning model using Amazon SageMaker. And we'll integrate this with web applications for you to visualize such corroded parts. So let's get started. We begin with the solution architecture. To build a system, we've relied on a variety of AWS serverless technologies. The, the web application is built using React. This React web app is deployed into an S3 bucket, which has the website hosting enabled. The web application gets delivered to end users using Amazon CloudFront over SSL. We use Amazon Cognito user pools to secure these web applications. When users log into the web app, they interact with backend uh, AWS APIs, which have been created using uh, REST and deployed into Amazon API Gateway. These REST APIs are further secured using Amazon Cognito User Pool, which actually work as an authorizer. To enable business users uh, to uh, create uh, further machine learning models and to deploy them on SageMaker endpoints for the purpose of inference, we've created a workflow or a pipeline using AWS step functions, which essentially is a serverless function orchestrator to build workflows. Finally, we use Amazon SageMaker, which forms a critical component of this architecture to build new machine learning models and to be able to deploy them onto a SageMaker endpoint for the purpose of inference. Now, let's understand how to build a machine learning model to detect corrosion. Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi Far and I'm going to talk about uh, data preparation and also machine learning modeling for the corrosion detection app. So for any machine learning model, we need to have some data. In this case, we need some images from corroded structures like this one uh, that I'm showing here. And uh, the way we prepare this data for the machine learning process is that we need to crop them like uh, this one shown here. We need to uh, uh, select some clean parts as well as some corroded parts and save them separately, right? And then we need to combine all of these small pieces together and turn them into a tabular format like this one that you see here. So on the left, you have the labels as clean or corroded. 
and also we have the RGB values for each pixel. So we will uh, create this data and then uh, use it for the training process. The code that does this uh, uh, data preparation for you is this one here. And I'm just going to uh, mention the most important part of this code, which is uh, basically looping uh, over different images and uh, reshaping them and uh, adding them together to uh, create one big tabular data. And in the end, we save it as uh, data.csv. After we save this data, we can move on to local testing using XGBoost uh, uh, algorithm, which is offered at uh, uh, Amazon SageMaker. And uh, let me just quickly explain this code. Um, so we first need to split the data into training, validation, and testing uh, pieces. And then we need to define some functions to uh, basically uh, load and save this uh, data pieces to S3. And also some other functions that we define for inference. And after that, we can uh, uh, go directly into training. We define some hyperparameters like these ones that you see here. And then after that point, we basically can start the training process, which in this case, as you see, it takes only about 55 seconds because it's a small data. It's only five megabytes. After the training is done, we need to uh, deploy the model, which is done in this uh, single line of code. And also we can uh, validate the model right before using in the application. So here is uh, what we have, for example, for uh, testing and seeing how the model uh, works. As you see, for example, this image has been interpreted. You have uh, the pixel that uh, show corrosion in red. Of course, this uh, model can be improved with more data. This is only using uh, five megabytes of data. And also you can do things like hyperparameter tuning to increase your accuracies. Next, let's understand how we build the web application. Let's understand how we build the web application. We will start with the building of the machine learning model, training and deployment pipeline using AWS step functions. Step functions uses the Amazon state language to define a workflow. In our case, the workflow consists of various steps. The first step is to start the SageMaker training job by configuring the required parameters. Once the model gets created, we then create the SageMaker endpoint and host the machine learning model for inference. Since this is a step that usually takes a few minutes, we check to see if the endpoint is in service before ending the workflow. This step function workflow can be started by invoking an API deployed on Amazon API Gateway. Next, let's understand how we build the APIs. We've used the AWS Shellless framework to create APIs and deploy them in Amazon API Gateway. Using Shallus, you can create Python functions and decorate them with the app.route keyword to be invoked when a user requests the API URL. AWS Shallus provides you with a CLI and also auto-generates SAM templates, which can be used to deploy the API to Amazon API Gateway. Next, we integrate the step functions and the API with the React Web App. In the React Web App, we make use of AWS Amplify framework, which helps us easily connect AWS services to the front end. Here's an example of using Amplify to upload files into an S3 bucket. Finally, we automate the deployment of the application using CloudFormation templates. Now, it's time to see the machine learning model in action. I've logged in to the corrosion detection web application. First, let's understand how you could trigger a new workflow to create a machine learning model and host it on a SageMaker endpoint for inference using a REST API. To do that, we're gonna choose the model training menu option. For training a new model, 
configure the input JSON to the step function workflow. I'm using a pre-configured JSON for the purpose of this demo. You will configure the EC2 instance type to be used for training, the training job name, and the locations for the training and the validation data sets in S3. When you click on the Submit Training Job button, it starts the execution of the step function workflow and in a few minutes you should have a new machine learning model created and hosted on a SageMaker endpoint. You are then able to configure this new SageMaker endpoint in the application for the purpose of inference. Next, let's see how the inference works. Select an image having a corroded part in it and click on analyze corrosion. At this point in time, we've made a call to the REST APIs deployed on Amazon API Gateway, which in turn is making a call to the SageMaker endpoint. And in the next couple of seconds, you should see a result which is written back by our machine learning model. And that would indicate the detected corrosion in it. As you can see, these red colored pixels indicate corrosion. This application also provides you an option to perform batch inference by uploading a zip file having multiple images. You're then able to visualize the detected corrosion. Here's a few examples. We hope you found this demonstration useful. Thanks for watching.